Vehicles are a big part of Grand Theft Auto. Obviously, the cars are the main draw, but there are tons of ways for you to get around the map with ease. And today, we're going to be checking out a bunch of hunks of metal we would love to drive in GTA 6. So be sure to drop a like, let me know which of these you want to drive the most, and let's get started. First off, we have tanks. Tanks have appeared in GTA throughout the years, sometimes more detailed than others. And in the old school games, the tanks were intentionally overpowered to make you feel like the ultimate unstoppable boss. But in later games, Rockstar tried to at least balance them out a little bit more. Tanks need to be super powerful to make up their low mobility, but not so powerful that they're unbeatable in a single player or multiplayer. But am I the only one that kind of wants the GTA 3 tanks back? The ones that handled super quickly and were so powerful that you could actually fly by firing the cannon behind you over and over again? Regardless of which version we get, the tank is a staple of GTA and has to return for GTA 6. Next up, we have motorcycles. Now, motorcycles have always seemed to be a little bit of an afterthought in GTA games, especially in the more recent ones, which is kind of odd because you would think they'd be pretty central to the way the game is played. They're great for getting somewhere quickly and keeping a lower profile than a car, but also run the risk of getting shot while driving them, which is kind of why people don't use them very often in GTA Online, not counting the ones that fly, of course. I think motorcycles could be rebalanced a bit to make them more popular and maybe a bit more logical. Maybe you take reduced damage while driving them in a motorcycle. Maybe you still take full damage but Rockstar could make them even faster and even better to control. Motorcycles are awesome and they definitely fit right into a GTA game, but they're definitely not as popular as cars. And I think GTA 6 should do a little bit of rebalancing in order to fix that. Next up, we have skateboards. Who wants to ride around the GTA map on a skateboard? Better yet, who wants a full-fledged skateboarding mechanic in GTA 6? I think this would be an awesome addition to the game and it would basically turn it into a long-awaited skateboard. If Rockstar added a skateboard as a vehicle, and then just threw in some very basic jumps and tricks like what's in the old Tony Hawk Pro Skater games, you could actually have one of the best skateboarding games of all time. Then you could have some challenges like completing heists on a skateboard or even outrunning cops on a skateboard, just like the 90s. Let's make it happen, Rockstar. I want to see it. Next up, we have steamrollers. Did you know we were actually supposed to have a steamroller in GTA San Andreas and was actually cut during the development? Some community members have even modded GTA 5 to add steamrollers into the mix because it's just a fun vehicle to screw around with. Steamrollers are meant for leveling surfaces and roads, but could you imagine if we had one of these in GTA? Maybe with bulletproof glass so you just can't get shot out of it? A steamroller could slowly and menacingly cruise down the middle of a road, just crushing anything that gets in the driver's way, armored or not. In order to get out of it, you would have to be hit with a hefty explosive payload. I think an armored steamroller could be a pretty fun vehicle to have in GTA. Sure, it would be a nightmare to balance, but it would be easily really fun to goof around with and I'm personally surprised there hasn't been one in the GTA franchise already. Next up, we have go-karts. A go-kart was added to GTA Online in late 2020, but I think GTA 6 should launch with one of these bad boys. Go-karts are a fun vehicle type that have appeared in a ton of video games and obviously in real life as well. And with the amount of customization and gameplay variety in GTA, they seem like a no-brainer to be added into the mix. Sure, GTA 5 has one, but why not more? Why not a bunch of go-karts? Hell, why not a whole go-karting location in GTA? GTA 6, something like K1 speed, but in the world of GTA. Then if you're feeling spicy, you could steal one of the carts and just drive it out of the front door and get into one of the weirdest police chases in history. Go karts have a ton of cheesy potential and I think they're worth expanding upon for GTA 6. Why not, right? You're making one of the biggest games of all time. You might as well go all out with the fun factor. Next up, we have golf carts. Speaking of carts, am I the only one who thinks it would be really fun to buy a golf cart in GTA 6 and then have the option to upgrade it like a normal vehicle? Can you imagine a golf cart with raised suspension and insane top speed, great acceleration, and maybe even some mounted machine guns? Am I going too far? Maybe just a little, but come on. You can't tell me you don't want to drive around the GTA 6 map with a tank or a golf cart hybrid. Next up, it is time to get weird. UFOs. Okay, hear me out. GTA 6 could have a side mission or a random encounter where you track down a crashed UFO, fight off the authorities, and then hotwire the thing and turn it into your own method of transportation. And then when you fly the UFO around the the map, you'll get a radio broadcast warning people about an extraterrestrial device in the area. And if you make too much commotion, the army will get deployed to chase you. That'd be pretty cool, right? Why not? Well, you guys, that is going to wrap it up with this video. These are the vehicles that we want to see in GTA 6. Let me know what you want to see in GTA 6 in the comment section. As always, guys, don't forget to subscribe to Grand Theft Central, like the video, and be sure to follow us on Twitter. The link is in the description. Thank you guys all once again for watching. This has been Wes, and I will talk to you on the next video.